New tonight, parents in a Summerlin neighborhood are sharing concerns about a rezoning proposal that could send their kids to different middle schools. CCSD says it's all about addressing overcrowding, but some say that's not the case. 13 Action News reporter Jeremy Chen spoke with parents and is now live to break down their concerns. Jeremy. Well, Jackie, school rezoning is a complicated issue for the both the district and for parents, basically coming down to which students will go to which school. And the parents I spoke with say the proposals being put forward are not solutions. When you rezone, it's change and people have made decisions to live in particular areas because of the schools. Natalie Cornejo is part of a group of parents concerned about potential rezoning. Their Summerlin neighborhood is currently zoned for Sig Rogich Middle School. Under two new proposals, they would be rezoned to Johnson Junior High School with students currently attending Grandfathered Inn. Cornejo's main issue is the alignment with the high schools for her fourth grade daughter. Many students at Johnson will go to Bonanza High School, whereas students at Rogich are mostly zoned for Palo Verde High School. There's only 20 kids in our neighborhood that are zoned to go to Palo. So she would come back to Palo and not know anybody. And at 14, to be in that position just doesn't make sense. Other concerns she and others have is geography. Johnson is three miles farther than Sig Rogich. CCSD says in a statement to parents, quote, the objectives of these proposals are to provide enrollment relief in a high residential growth area, as well as utilize available capacity at surrounding schools. These parents say these proposals don't solve the issue of over Overcrowding, however, according to CCSD, Rogich is at about 120% enrollment capacity, while Johnson is at about 110%. So essentially, you're punishing our 80 kids from this neighborhood and you're sending them into another overcrowded situation. The parents say they understand the district is trying to address the issue the best they can, but says this isn't the solution for their neighborhood. They would prefer having their children remain zoned for Rogich. At this point, you're just changing something with no benefit to the kids in the end. You're, what you're really doing is impacting them socially. You're impacting them educationally. I mean, there's a real cost to doing what they're doing. And there will be a meeting tomorrow night at the SIG Rogich Middle School gym where parents can voice their opinions, their thoughts, and get put in input regarding this proposal to rezone. Now, if you're interested in being a part of that, we have the details available on our website at KTNB.com. Jeremy Chen, 13 Action News.